the dreaded S word has reared its ugly head in the presidential election. Yes, social issues. And worse yet, the dreaded S word within the S word, sex. Liberals fall all over themselves trying to deconstruct any form of social mores. And too many Republicans are unwilling to stand up and defend them. Personally, I'm getting tired of those who are either unable or unwilling to help people understand the connection between social issues and the fiscal and economic issues that fiscal conservatives want to talk about. If you want a strong workforce, you've got to have strong families. You want to have less government, then you need to have self-governed people. Those who want smaller civil government without people being self-governed want what has never been and never will be. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be talking with you, helping you learn how to connect the dots between social issues and fiscal issues so that you can help your timid friends talk about them during the presidential election. So check back in and check out the information on our website. But first, some background information. What's going on in our public schools with respect to this issue of sex education? Well, the sad fact is that our sex ed laws are more than 20 years old, ambiguous, antiquated, and they're ineffective. The Department of Education doesn't even really know what's going on with sex education from one school to the next or one class to the next, and they're, they're powerless to really do anything to stop whatever's going on. Well, let me tell you what is going on. Because our laws are so vague and so undefined, there are groups like Planned Parenthood that are authorized to teach sex education in some public schools in Tennessee. And if you want to know what they mean by talking about comprehensive sex education that help kids understand about protecting themselves from disease and pregnancy, then maybe you need to go to their website and find that as forms of suggested birth control, they would recommend oral sex play and anal sex play. Yes, you heard me correctly. Maybe you need to know that an organization came in and taught sex education to a high school senior and you need to watch the father of that young girl describe to you how the teacher took an anatomical model and began to show the girls how to put on a condom while giving oral sex, which, by the way, they recommended the girls do in case the boy didn't want to voluntarily wear a condom. You can watch that video on our website under the Frequently Asked Questions for Senate Bill 3310. That's some of what's going on in some of our school systems. Do you know what's going on in the school system of your child or your grandchild? Maybe you should find out. I hope you'll listen and tune in next week as we begin to connect the dots between these kinds of programs and the fiscal and economic issues that plague us.